everybody it's birdie with ori and it is so early right now it's about five minutes to nine i want to say but that's not so early because i've been out the house and back <laughs> and i still gotta go to work so but it is early for some people oh my back is hurting me a little bit on the side where i'm holding her i don't know if i pull something or it's, i don't know what it is but I'll say, let me do a video because today I work late and I might not feel like doing it when I get home. And I figured maybe I could go with the theme finally. <laughs> I think of that. But yeah, I have to um, get this video in real quick because I have to leave in a little while. Yes, I do. Yeah, that, that back problem probably is going to bother me a little bit today. I'm trying to think of what happened. I don't know. I didn't know it was bothering me until I picked Ori up. So it's a good thing I picked you up, Mama. Yeah. But today is going to be a long day at work because it's raining. 90% of rain. And whenever it rains, hmm, I need to go outside on a daily basis in my line of work. Right, boo-boo? You ain't think of butt. And I have my coffee here so I can have my day awake it's not that hot but we're gonna do onesie wednesday right mama i love wednesday because it's the last day of the week that i work late i only work two days a week late but that's good enough so i'll be glad when wednesday get here because then i'm done with that <laughs> and i found out that two holidays falls on a monday and one on a wednesday so i'm not working on the days i close late so that would be a good week i only have to do it once Oh, I love this little girl. She's such a pleasure to see. And I was going to put her on this onesie. Okay, sit right there. This here onesie. And it is a long sleeve onesie because I had the air on for my puppies. And I got this last year at the dog show. We, I went thrifting with my girls. Yep. We had such a fun time shopping. Oh my goodness. And I got this onesie. And it's a bluish aqua kind of. Not, um, it's not mint green. But it's like a blue. A very light bluish green. Because these socks are blue. They look like they match. But they don't really exactly match. And if you know me. I'm a little petty about matching. But it, I'm going to let it go. I think. Because I know I love white socks. She have on white socks now. And I was like, I just put white socks on. But then I said she got white socks on. So I may leave the white socks on. Or I might put the blue socks on and take them off if I don't like them. Oh, and I have a little bit of a bottle I have to give her. Because she was sneezing last night. So I was like, let me give her something in the morning before I go to work. Because I don't want her to get sick. I got some blue socks over there. I wonder if that will show a different color flow. It might be the similar blue. You want to have your little babas, mama? Because i got to change her pamper. And yes, I said I have too many pampers because this is the pamper she's going to put on today. I don't know if you can see it. There it go. And I like the blue in it or the teal, the aqua. Whatever color you want to call that. It matches the, the, the onesie. And I have a bed. I had a bed. I don't know what I did with that bed. That's why it's good to have a caddy. <laughs> I had the um pink and the um pink outline cream bed, but I don't know what I did with it. But the caddy always have something for me to use. I was running around I had to take my daughter to school this morning because it's getting to be the end of the year and she wanted to make sure she caught up on everything so she had to go to school early and I was just sleeping away because I didn't go to bed too early but not too late and I was like oh today I can sleep late because I don't go to work till later not too much later a few more minutes about an hour or two but um she was like mom don't you remember you gotta take me I was like oh and I jumped up and was running 
and as a mom that's one thing i realized always always take your shower at night unless you know for sure your kids stay home with you tomorrow because you never know what's going to happen when you got to jump up and hit the floor running with them they wait to the last minute to tell you stuff and i meant to put a little bit of um uh antibacterial soap in this water i do that from time to time just to soothe my mind it's not required it's not a necessity i don't know if it's going to damage your silicone but it's just something that makes me sleep better so i do it and i put a little bit of purple marker in here because she was sneezing so i was just you know like it's it's purple mark uh you see if you see me give her medicine it's like watered down purple marker in a medicine bottle i put one drop in here because sometimes she don't want to taste like early in the morning she don't like the taste so i just put it in her water to dilute it a little and she still get her medicine because I don't want baby girl to be sick. Right, we don't want you to be sick. We got to get all ready for the dog show. Mm-hmm. And this will be the first time little mama goes on a plane. I can't wait to see how she handle that. <laughs> I can't wait to see how everybody around her handle it too. I don't know if I'm going to video. It depends. I want a video. But it's so early that I'm flying out. I don't even know if I'm going to be in the mood because I will be working the day right before I leave. So I don't even know what day that is. I got to look. I sure hope it ain't a Wednesday. I think I fly out. I think I work late that night, but it don't matter. It don't matter because I'm going to be so souped up about going. And push kind of shove, I'll have to take that day. I might leave early that day if I feel like I need to. Because yesterday was not a late day, but complications arose before I had to leave. And I couldn't just leave. So I was like, let me get this situation under control, then leave. And I don't try to make that a habit because <clears throat> once you start doing that, they take advantage. So I only stayed like maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. I will only give them 30 minutes of my time when I'm supposed to leave early because if you give them any more that day, they'll keep on. And I'm not doing that. I don't want to be that late. Right, Spankle? Mama don't want to be that late. She got to come home and feed the children. Yeah. You be about to cry, right? So the mom walked on the door. I said, I was about to cry. But yeah, it's supposed to rain, I think, all week. And I'm like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. But we have, hopefully Friday, we have a celebration. I thought the holiday was this Monday. I don't think it's this Monday. I think it's next Monday. I'm not sure. I'm counting on that holiday. That's my holiday. A three-day weekend is my holiday. Our Mother's Day... I think I might have made a little bit of a space to put some of this baby stuff in my house. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that area for videos. I'm going to see how I set it up and see if it's actually a big enough space for me to be in like that. Because it's only like half of a room. And I don't really work well cramped in a half of a room. Like in this room, I have this area. I have I sit anywhere in my living room really and um, do a video. But it's still my living room. It's just got baby uh, car seats around and diaper bag when I come in here but that room should have um, it should have the bassinets the bouncers I might even do I have a car seat yeah the car seat is in there I have two I have three car seats one car seat is in my daughter's closet and that's the duh, twin car seat that folds up without the car seats that's small so it goes in my daughter's closet and the other one is in my other daughter's room and one is in the car. I really, really need to get some of the stuff down. But um, what you call it said they don't take car seats, older car seats and stuff. So I was like, I don't even know. Am I feeding you two cats? Are you spitting? No, she's not spitting. Her morning bottle she takes very well. I guess she like me and overnight she get hungry. Yeah. And she don't really wake up in the middle of the night. I think when I go to the doll show, she might wake up in the middle of the night because she'd be in a different place. 
Because when I go by her auntie house, she's all wide-eyed and looking around and don't want to take a nap. And every time she hear her auntie voice, she looking. But she's not cranky. She just eat more when she's there and, you know, just all in the arms getting spoiled. Cannot wait to spoil her cousin. Once I get myself situated, because I know good and well, either after work or on the weekends, I may have to kidnap my niece. <laughs> I may have to kidnap my niece. I'm gonna go over there, and we're gonna we're gonna get your cousin, right? Yeah, we are. Can I have a bottle? I think we're done. She's all finished. Yep. And y'all gonna y'all gonna do some stuff. Hmm? Yeah, because I keep always spoiling you. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It's like, I don't know. I haven't taken my allergy medicine yet, and I guess that's why. It's being I went outside and came in, I don't know. But it's raining. It should be better. My coffee is not hot. And that's fine with me. As long as it get in my body and... Give me the energy and not make me sleepy. Right? Because you cannot be sleepy. You could not be sleepy. You can't miss a beat. Yep. Say, I can't miss a beat. What did I do with that bed, baby? I don't think I had to look for it before she go because if it fell, it's not on the floor in here. I might have just picked it up and put it back down somewhere. There we go. There we go. It's a little arm down. There we go. Mama, think of butt. I need a massage or something right in that area, like an ear pocket or something in my right shoulder blade. I need my shoulder by my ribs in the back. Hmm. You know, on Mother's Day, I sat on the other side of the living room in the other um, love seat, and I sat like this with her. And we went to sleep in the morning. I sat there rocking her like this and went to sleep watching the movie. Got up, changed her, did something, and later on sat back down with her up here like that and fell asleep again. And my sister called me. I'm like, wow, I just slept Mother's Day. My kids ain't say anything. And I sat right over there with Ori. And we spent Mother's Day all day together just sleeping and chilling watching the movie. <coughs> I didn't go anywhere. I don't like to go anywhere on Mother's Day. I don't do the whole big, you know, celebration of it like that. So, it's usually just a quiet day. And I raise my kids that Mother's Day is every day, so they don't make a big deal out of it on that particular day. They say it. They give me my hugs. But um, they celebrate Mother's Day every day. Like, they randomly just do things. She is so relaxing. Oh my goodness. She is not, I won't say she's my favorite baby. I don't have a favorite because, like I said, they all serve a purpose. But she is, um, I, I, would, I can't say worry free because I don't want anybody touching her. I don't want just anybody holding her. And that might be a problem for some people when I go to the doll show because I know a lot of my sisters in the Dolly World want to see her and stuff, but she is, uh, I don't like anybody holding any of my babies. If you ever see me at the doll show, I don't pass my babies around. Um, they stay in a car seat. You can look at them. Only the closest people can hold them. <laughs> so I hope if you do see me at the doll show, I will let you see her. You know, I may, but everybody will not hold my, my little angel. Nobody holds all my babies. In fact, how many people actually held her? Hmm. When I go out, if I'm at the doctor's office or something like that, and people don't know about her, I will let them hold her just because it's more so like, okay, you they're going to be very careful because they don't like the way she feels. Other doll collectors are a little more loose and careless with them. 
for some reason. I don't know if they like that with their babies, but some doll collectors can be like, mm, whatever, and just fling your baby around. And even though she's adorable, you're not flinging my baby around. <laughs> you're just not. And I don't like to come out of my face in a rude way, so I just say, mm, don't hold my baby, please. And I, <clears throat> this diaper is so cute on her. I didn't like Huggies because I'm not a fan of Winnie the Pooh, but I love Tigger. So, of course, one comes in comes with the other. In fact, they had a bottle that I wanted and a pacifier with Tigger on it, but I didn't get it because Winnie the Pooh had his own, too. But I said, you know what, I might get it and just gift that somewhere because I don't really do Winnie the Pooh that well. I watched the Tigger movie. If you don't want to see doll parts, please don't watch this part of the video because I'm going to change my doll. And if you really are interested, please click out. And then that's that. I'm going to put this seashell diaper on her. I've been wanting these since I've seen them come out. They're so pretty. And, of course, me with the fish tanks and stuff. I don't have seashells in my fish tanks, though. Because sometimes they, excuse me, get soft or algae on them and stuff. And I don't like them in the fish tank like that. But I do have them at work. One day I'm going to say what, you know, I'm pretty sure if you know me, you know what I do for a living. But, um... This is going to be too cute, mama. Oh, wee, adorable. Adorable. But yes, I, um, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to do that with the doll show. Because I do hold other people babies, and they, and I'm, but I'm very careful. I am more careful with anybody else's baby than I am with my own. And I don't take a baby without asking. I don't touch a baby without asking. Because I, I know they're not real, but they are real money. <laughs> they may not be real life children, but they are somebody's real money. Somebody's real pennies and coins. And I don't throw pennies around. I don't throw pennies on the ground. I don't waste money like that. So I don't care if it was a, a shoe. I'm going to ask you, can I move your shoes? Is that your shoes before I touch it? So I just... Don't think a lot of people had the same courtesy as I do sometimes, so I don't put them in a position where I may get annoyed or have to say something in a very rude way to them. So I just say, please don't hold my baby, or I may even get something to say, don't look but don't touch. Because I'm not trying to be mean, I'm trying to protect you from my rude personality if you do something out of place. That's that's a nice way of putting it, I believe. And not, like I said, when being in the real world and see, working with people and stuff, not everybody is raised the same way to take value in people's other people's stuff. You could go on Facebook and see how people care for their silicones and their reborns, and you could see that they don't value, they don't have the same value as you do. Because <clears throat> some stuff is just, even the clothes, you're not going to treat it that way. And when I went to the doll show with the twins, I let certain people hold them. And certain people, I was like, what? Really? You know, and I didn't come out of place, but I did learn. Mm -mm, no more. And that's just how it got to be. But I'm not very scornful. Like I said, if I know you and I know how you are, then that's different. So please pay attention to who babies you're holding when you go to the shows. Even the artists, you know, I know they're trying to sell them, but be mindful that it's not your stuff. And you should treat it with the utmost gentleness as possible. Even if the head don't flop, support it. Okay. Okay, mama. Mommy have I don't think I have put a long sleeve shirt like this on her ever. How did this go? Okay. We confused. I see a snap here. 
don't you just love these shirts that confuse you? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is a used shirt. Oh, here it is. I'm like, this is a used shirt. Maybe the snap ain't there. <laughs> I found it. And it's so soft. That's one thing I do like about secondhand clothes. They have been washed and worn. And even the tag is super silky soft because they've been washed so much. And it's not faded or anything, but it's just comfortable. Comfortable to snuggle with her. Comfortable for her to wear without messing up her silicone. And see, she had a little three buttons, four buttons on the side. Adorable. So this is, this I really like. And it's very hard to find these now. Especially with this many snaps on it. They have the little cheesy ones that look like this, but it don't have the real openings. It just uh, a pullover. It pulls over your head, but it has this design. I don't want that. I want the ones like this. And I know some people, I think in Australia, they had them, or England, but they snap up here. I want that too. I want that. But I haven't came across it yet. <clears throat> and it's already May, the middle of May. The dog show is coming super fast now. It's like I'm running out of time. I hope when I get there, it goes slow. I hope so. I'm going to try to. I know time fly when you're having fun. I must be having fun at this new job because time is so, so flying. Let's take these little white socks off the little tootsies. And I do. I, I prefer white socks on my real children. I think I had white socks on all the time. And even as they big, when I would buy socks, I would buy white socks. Just because my daughter used to run track and the dye, you couldn't wear certain color socks because this is wrong yeah i hope this is the right sock they was in each other yeah they the right ones because i have so many blue socks blue is my favorite color i don't have a a lot of boys in my collection but i love blue and i figure the next vehicle i buy if i buy it from a lot or something and it's the real deal i may try to get like a sky blue vehicle Cause I've never, I've had one, one or two blue vehicles. I think I had, but they were dark blue. So I think I'm in the sky blue vehicle mode now. Right now my vehicle that I'm driving to work is black. My kids named it Black Panther. It's a reliable vehicle. And it's okay to go back and forth in traffic. <laughs> there we go. Let me get me some coffee. Look at my little angel. Look at you looking so cute for onesie Wednesday. Look at you. She looks good in blue. Look at her. I knew you would. I knew you would. I said, let me put this on her. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have another one, but I don't know what color it is. And the one thing I like is, see, she could wear this and a boy could wear this. And I would put a blue uh, headband on her, but it's in the other car, so there's none of that one. And I shouldn't have one here. Nah. I don't have one here. But I do have another pair of white socks. <laughs> let me put all these socks in the, in the bin. Together. Two pair of whites and a purple. Oh, I do have a white headband. Look at that. Look at that, mama. We are so prepared with this bin. So prepared. I like that, right? Let me put your head right here. So I can put this on. There we go. 
There we go. We got her little band on. Let me turn her around. There she go. Looking so cute. That little thing of what? That little thing of what? Put your legs up like that. Can you put your legs up? You can boop, boop, boop. <laughs> And I saw the um, Claire's new baby. Oh my goodness. Them legs on that baby is so chunky. Right. So chunky. <laughs> she is adorable. Gotta love me. And I gotta cut this video short because I still have to eat on my way to work. And I could play with her all morning. And it'd be like 10 minutes to work till I get to work. And I'm like, oh well. Right. Oh, well, I was playing with my Ari Ari. But yeah, you guys have a wonderful wet Wednesday. Hopefully it's dry where you are, but it don't look very dry here. So say, see you later, auntie, uncles, and cousins. Say, mm, have a beautiful day. Ugh, we got to turn you around because mama cannot pick. Yeah, yeah, we do. Now I can turn it off.